EFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. And the Dow is down 72 at 33,623 after an absolutely spectacular spike to the upside. At this point, I'm still calling this a leg F. There could be an alternate wave count. I don't need to do that yet. We'll have to just see how it plays out. And most importantly, you can see this weekly chart finally broke above. We'll see on Friday for closes above the 33,250-ish area to say it's the first close above this down channel, this little mini down channel I call the inside track repellent zone. We'll see what happens. S&P also had a spectacular move yesterday, of course, and we're now looking at it extending both the down and the S&P extended that move from yesterday. That's very unusual, especially with an absolute morbozo candle where there's no wick on the downside, no wick on the upside, just a fantastic big green candle. Normally, my, my relationship with this particular candle is that there's a doji candle. Uh, either there's a spectacular gap up again and another move, but when it's getting to the end of a, of a sharp rally from a low, that's where it could start to stall and get a doji candle or a down move. And then you have to wait for a day or two before it tries to regain the strength. Looking at the QQQ, also a very, very strong day yesterday. Hasn't taken out the left side high of October, but it is strong up 283.12, up 36, also extending yesterday's huge gain. IWM, same thing. But this has gone right to the 200 period moving average for the first time in months. And uh, at 187.33, that is really good action. The weekly charts improved a lot. Ha, gold. Uh, with the dollar down sharply, gold is up again, up 9 to 1762. This is definitely a very strong breakout. 1777 on the continuous contract will be the strong 200 period exponential moving average. Resistance, the dollar, in fact, has plunged to the downside. It's gone below the left side, right side price time match, uh, which went to, oh, today exactly, it broke it from the low of um, September. And we're at 107.02, down 77 cents. You can see the weekly chart has finally broken the support. We're looking at the TLT, which are bonds. Uh, bonds are holding okay, down 29 cents at 97.97. Yields that took a quite a quite a drop yesterday. And we'll just go to the crude oil. Yep, crude oil is bouncing off the 200 period moving average, up three dollars at 89 cents. A lot to talk about when I get back. For the Tiger technicians out and check out my opening call. We had some really good position uh, uh, plays this past week. I'll be back in a moment. Hope you can stay.